What's up EHP Labs, Goku Flex here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my upper body warm up and mobility. Now I follow this routine every day before I hit any type of upper body workout. Reason being it helps me stay away from injury and preps my body to lift more and lift safely. So let's get into it. So first exercise is going to be band pull apart. Now basically you're going to take a band, this band I got from Elite FTS, this is their like mini band and you're going to grab just shoulder width apart or whatever your mobility is at. If you have horrible shoulder mobility then start like out here and just go like that and then just bring it in more. I can go about right here and you just keep your arms straight. You're going to try to as much as possible not to hyperextend your lower back and just come straight back overhead and down to your butt. So for this I do a about 10 to 15 repetitions depending how my shoulders are feeling at the time and then from there what I'll do is I'll do it one at a time. I think these are I believe these are called like around the worlds or something. So what you'll notice about this warm-up is a majority of this warm-up is going to be directed at your rotator cuffs and your shoulders in general. Reason being is that's where you're going to have a lot of issues. After 14 years of lifting in the gym, majority of the people that I've met that have had upper body injuries tend to be rotator cuff issues. Just because it's such a weak joint, especially if you're stronger, um, you just want to make sure you warm it up properly before you lift or you have a good chance of injuring it. Next exercise is external rotation. Basically, you can take the band, you can wrap it around like this if you want to. It doesn't really matter. And from here, what you're gonna do, you're gonna come out here and externally rotate the bend. So keep your elbow tucked into your body and pull out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your anterior delt and your rotator cuff. Next exercise is a variation of face pull. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your band where it was, slide it up and just take about a shoulder width grip. And this, similar to face pulls, instead of pulling it to your face, you're gonna pull it above the top of your head. So pull back. What you do, what you feel is a good stretch on your anterior delts and a nice contraction on your rear delts as well, as well as that stretch. So next, you're gonna keep your band around the pole. You're gonna stay retracted. Keep your posture nice and in line. You're gonna pull your elbows back about so they're in line with your shoulders. And from there, just rotate your palms up. Again, you're gonna feel it in your rotator cuff. You're gonna rotate all the way back as much as possible. You're gonna keep everything nice and lined. So my elbow and everything isn't moving. My elbow or shoulder isn't moving. Moving. It's just pivoting up. So that's pretty much my upper body warm up. Now, depending on what body part I'm hitting, I'll typically do push ups or pull ups, depending. So I'll do push ups. Obviously, before any type of bench day, any type of push workout, I'll do pull-ups even for my push workout. Reason being is because you use a lot of your back. Your back is the primarily stabilizer for your bench. So I'll do pull-ups regardless. And back day, I won't do push-ups, but I will do pull-ups because that is what we're working on. All right, so that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the HP Labs channel and stay tuned for future videos. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next. You can also follow me on all social medias at GokuFlex, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.